The firmware is the program that will send code into the board, interpret it, and translate it into motion, temperature adjustment, and extrusion. It will be our interface for interacting with the printer and setting up different parameters and settings. There are quite a few firmwares out there, the most popular being Marlin. The thing with Marlin is that although it's widely used, the code has an overwhelmingly high amount of lines and can be hard to find the right line of code when performing configuration. We'll use Repetier for this printer, which has a cleaner code that's easier to understand, has a great online technical support, and a very nice configuration tool maker on its website. You can of course make your own code from scratch, but I'll provide a polished configuration file that you can download and upload to your printer. To upload the firmware, we'll need the Arduino IDE software, which can be downloaded from the Arduino website. Once Arduino IDE is installed, open the Rapiteer.ino file provided on the video. Connect the USB cable on the Arduino Omega to your computer using the USB extension cord. The LCD display should now show a blank blue screen. This marks that the Arduino board is empty. On the Arduino IDE, under the Tools tab, choose Arduino Mega or Mega 2560 for board. As for port, it may vary depending on which operating system you're working. But the board should come up as one of your ports as TTY USB, TDY ACM1 or similar. You may have to grant permission for the operating system to make the changes on this device. Now click on the upload button on the upper left corner. The software will start loading the firmware into the printer. This might also take a minute or so. When uploading is done, the LCD should now display a splash screen with the Raptor logo and the main control panel. This means we've correctly uploaded the firmware. Should the LCD screen still be blank, blue, after uploading, check the cables going to the ramps 1.4 and make sure the X, EXP1 and EXP2 are connected correctly. If the problem persists, check the potentiometer in the display and turn it either way with a small flat screwdriver till the display is readable. Now we can disconnect the USB extension cord from the Arduino Mega and close the Arduino IDE software. 